everybody and welcome back to another video. I am your host Captain Awesomeness and today we are going to try out my trusty Icon Battle Scar 2 helmet that I will be using at the go-karting facility right here at High Voltage Karting. So I think it's going to do pretty well. It is kind of an overcast day but I don't see that to be an issue with the kind of face shield I have a front that little golden piece. I'm going to be putting my mic on my uh, new uh, GoPro mounting piece right up on front and I'm gonna see how it turns out so I'm pretty excited about coming back here it has been about two weeks since I've been here so hopefully I'm not too rusty but we'll check it out okay guys so just like the last time I bought three sessions and it looks not so busy at all so I don't know what's up with that but uh, I guess with school started back up there's not very many people who show up here to race so I'm gonna be doing some solo sessions it looks like I don't remember what the uh, lap time was that I need to beat. I think it was 38.6. So if I can get that personal best of 38.6 or better, then I guess I'll be happy. But in the meantime, this is more about recording uh, my session with the new setup that I have. So let's see how uh, that uh, recording goes. Okay, I hope you guys can hear me, but I am right now just coming off of the pit and they start you slow in the first lap just so that at least you have ample time to kind of familiarize yourself with the uh, track itself and uh, soon as you start to come to the starting line that's when they accelerate you so right now I'm going maybe what 10 mile an hour so here I'm just remembering how to turn I'm gonna walk you guys through what I'm doing if I can around this way this is where I break and then go that way and then turn in all right they should be starting me up now all right break and get back on the gas turn in make this straight come off the throttle turns get back on the gas stay on the gas this whole way all right try to make it straight as I can brakes get back on the gas get off the gas come back on it oh hitting every wall brake turn Break. Ooh, that was a wide turn if there was one all right here we go come off it get back on it all right I kind of screwed up that turn I'll have to come back and attack that again break come off get on seconds that's not good oh I'll have to attack this again a different way All right. Ooh. this is not good crashing into walls not a good idea Last lap was 39 and a half, so I'm getting faster. All right, turn. Yeah, there you go, that's a better turn. Rick.
thing is turning really good. Thirty-nine and a half is what I've done so far. The fastest lap time that is, so I got room to improve. I'm breaking a little too light in that turn there, so I need to do better. through here and we come across to the finish line all right let's figure out how we did there <sighs> every time you, I get on this track and try to race it is a bit of a monster remembering what I'm supposed to do where so and they have slowed me down all right not so bad of a first session but I know I can improve 39.140 that was the best lap I could do on my first session I know there is definitely a lot of room for improvement and I think my issue right now is figuring out where to break how much of a force to give when I'm turning at certain sections and overall I think I just need to kind of take it easy I think because I'm so goal oriented sometimes I try to chase things so much that I make a lot of mistakes so on my second and third session, I'm gonna be mindful of that and I hope I can get much faster laps than what I just did right now. Again, my goal is to try to beat my personal best of 38.642, I think it is. And if I can get better than that, and I know I will, I just need to give it time, I will be more than ecstatic. Oh, so also let me just tell you guys how the helmet worked out so far. So <laughs> I can see that's not the issue but of course everything is a little bit darker but that didn't affect my ability to navigate around i did not feel like the helmet was getting in the way of affecting my field of view and as well as the camera i didn't feel like it was getting in the way i just need to maybe move the mic around a little bit there was a point where i kind of felt the mic kind of irritating my top left lip here so i need to figure out what I need how I need to place that but in any case right now I'm observing some other dudes racing and if they do better lap times than me I'm gonna try and see what they're doing differently and try to emulate that well I don't have any good news to share with you guys I was lower in the second time around at 39.2 so I gotta figure out what I'm doing wrong but either way I will keep on going it looks like I bought a, two more sessions so I'll have a total of five sessions I really need to get down to at least my 36 38 6 uh, maybe do faster than that, but we'll see So race number four done and I Did a lot better than I did in the first three races 
and I think that has to do with the fact that I was racing with these two guys that were here a little bit ago. I think they just went to get some drinks, but they're the fastest guys on the track. And when we started, they started from behind me. So that gave me the sense of urgency, like I better get on it and better make something happen. And that ended up giving me a lap time of 38.742. Not so bad, I like it. So I got one more race to go and I hope I can get something faster than this. And if not, well, this is, it is what it is. First of all, the wind has picked up a bit. It's a lot cooler than it was when I first started out uh, here today. So I wanted to give you guys a bit of a heads up on my second last race, which is the session number four that I was doing. I actually ended up racing with these really two uh, cool dudes. Uh, one guy by the name of Denny and the other guy by the name of Denny. And what's funny about what happened in this race was, while I was struggling in my first three sessions, unable to break the 39 second mark, all of a sudden I was in the 38. And I started off being in front of them guys and it just was legendary. I really enjoyed how uh, had, knowing that I had two fast dudes behind me kind of pushed me to challenge myself to do a little bit better than I did before. I was crashing a couple of times, kind of scared that those guys do, uh, would catch up to me, but it turns out that uh, a little bit of motivation uh, is a good thing. It gives you the incentive to want to better yourself. And I, in the meantime, also figured out where I was going wrong and uh, I think I should be able to get to the point where I can beat my lap times but it also depends on what kind of cart I get as well, I think. So either way, I'm about to get on my last race and that will be the one that I will uh, upload in this recording for you guys to see. But I'm really happy. This, this was really cool. All right, so this is my last race uh, for the day. And I am starting again at the front, racing with the two fastest guys that I know of at this track, Denny and Denny. So... I am going to try to do my best to stay ahead of the competition, but no idea whether that'll happen. Right now in the warm-up lap, I'm just trying to make sure I can warm up this cart as much as possible before I get the full juice. So, here we go, and I guess this is, oh, all right, the juice uh, has come a little late, but that's okay. I hear them right behind me, so I gotta make sure I stay as much ahead of them as I can. That did not help. The fact that I didn't have any juice there. All right, come on. You can do this, man. Stay ahead of him, stay ahead of him. Ah! All right, get off the gas now, get back on it. Don't slide too much. Turn, 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 turn. Yep, I can see them in the corner of my eye. They're right behind me. This doesn't feel good because this cart doesn't have the same kind of juice as the other one did. All right, so. Something is definitely off about this one. It does not want to turn. All right, come on. Oh shit, oh shit. They're getting on me, they're getting on me! Alright, concentrate, here we go. That's a good turn.
that brake is a little too sensitive on this one brake man I really need to polish that turn down it's not helping that this cart wants to turn off on me randomly and it's doing that because the brakes are too sensitive Ugh. I don't know if they're behind me or not, but that is not helping. Understeer is enemy number one. Okay. Oh shit, he's right behind me. Not the time to make mistakes. Ah, he's right up on my ass. I'm going to let them pass. There's no way. There is no way I was going to let him tap me. I'd rather let him take that uh, league lead. I mean, when you know somebody is far better than you, why even mess it up for them? Ah, this thing is pissing me off because I don't think I did any better than the 38.749 that I did in the last race I actually think I did far worse and that's because this cart is horrible absolutely horrible but either way at least I tried to put up a fight it's just the cart was not cooperating at all so no fun to be had with something like that and that was the end of the race either way this was a lot of fun yeah see that this thing just does not want to cooperate oh whatever at least I know my skills I see my skills are in need of work compared to these guys here so I still had fun and that was key Wow, that was pretty good. I cannot tell what it said. Oh, 38.557. That's what I just did. Holy hell. And the fastest dude was a second faster than me. Wow. Still a lot of fun. Oh, man. This was cool. All right, time to cut this recording off, and I'll talk to you guys from the other stuff. So, guys, that was an awesome session, the last one. Oh, wow. I mean, having those guys right behind me and I guess screaming like a little girl, that got me a little bit faster. And I just beat my previous fastest lap time of 38.629 seconds and I was able to get 38.559, I think it said. But either way, I'm pretty happy about it and I'm heading home now. It's kind of raining on me with sun on the one side and clouds on the other, so kind of weird. But either way, I had a great session. It was just legendary the way I was just pushing myself. Oh man, that excitement was amazing. And I really hope that the uh, recording worked out well for you guys. You tell me if you like this setup better than what I had last time. Either way, guys, I will be uh, doing another video at some point, uh, maybe a week uh, at the latest. 
I've got some things going on that might keep me busy. But thanks for coming back and watching this video. Until the next time, I will see you and have a good one.